Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Josh and today I'll be providing you with a November fund update. In this update, I'll talk about some of the dividends that will be paid out to the fund in December. As well as that, I'll be talking about sector rotations, in particular, the sector rotation into aged care and retirement living. And I'll be talking about the reasons why I think this sector is experiencing some share price appreciation in the past four months. And we also um, yesterday hit 200 subscribers. So I just want to thank you all. As part of hitting the 200 subscriber milestone, I'll be putting in an extra $100 to the public portfolio. And if you'd like to support the channel, um, be sure to use the subscription link to sign up to Sharesies. The offer is back on till the 31st of January. So if you sign up, you get $10 and I'll get a $5 kickback from Sharesies as well. So if you'd like to show your support, that's another way you could do that. Disclaimer, this is for entertainment purposes only. Stuff I say here is not a recommendation to buy and sell stocks. All right, now let's get into the video. So the public portfolio is valued at 1888, so 1888. And are currently returning $92 on the 1888, which is a 5.04% return. Let's have a look at the stocks within it. So, you know, the the four ETFs have been there since the first episode. So um, if you'd like to know my reasoning for these, um, I do touch on that in episode one. So be sure to check that out. And here are the companies. So I haven't added any new stocks since last month. And it's mainly just been reinvesting in these companies. For these funds, they actually have gone X dividend. So what X dividend means is that if you own the stock before X date, you basically get paid the dividend even if you sell the stock or ETF today. What this means is that we'll be getting a dividend from these ETFs. So as you can see here, we have an upcoming dividend and that will be paid on the 18th of December. And the X date was the 29th of November, so I'll be getting dividends because I own this ETF before the X date. So the dividend um, per share after tax is 4.8 cents per share. And so based on our ownership of this, we are entitled to a $2 and 71 cent dividend still very small amounts because we are not working with very big numbers here so we have a hundred and seventy three dollars in the fund and all these other funds as well have paid a dividend um, z energy also went x they went x um 11 days ago and this dividend is three dollars and 66 cents the reason why the share price has dropped a little bit as well is because it's gone X. So when it goes X, it'll drop by the dividend um, declared amount. So in this case, the dividend, the gross dividend per share for Z is 22.9. So about 23 cents per share. So if we add back 23 cents per share into $5.13, which is the current share price, that will be about $3.36 per share. So if you're wondering why the share prices have dropped a little bit um, on your stock, it might be because it went X dividend. And so the dividend is now um, coming to your bank at a later date, but the share price has dropped. All right, so let, now let's go into the Excel spreadsheet. Excel spreadsheet here basically shows our movements um, month to month. So Somerset is now our biggest position in the portfolio um, at 16.3% and that has been a 2.1% increase since last month. So why, why has it gone up so much? Well, because if we take a look at last month, last month the Somerset share price was $6.54. Today it's sitting at $7.70. So massive ramp up. Somerset has gone up significantly in price and the ETF positions have dropped slightly. Heartland Bank 0% movement. So not much change. Everything else hasn't changed that much either. So Z Energy actually has dropped a bit but as I mentioned before um, so last month it was $5.36 and surprisingly today if we add back the dividend that went um, recently went X, it's sitting at about the same price. So um, this percent loss um, doesn't reflect the dividend yet. So I'm not sure if Sharesies will change that but um, we'll see in the future, right? 
And I also added these new columns here. So this basically shows the change between this month and last month. So this month, our portfolio value has increased by $221 and our return has gone up significantly um, to 4 point, um, increased by 4.8% to 6.54%. So the difference between the 6.5% that I use here and the about 5% shown on sharesies is due to the fact that I basically take into account the time waiting of the return. So I explained this a bit more in um, the previous episode. So if you want to know what I've done there, check that out. And I explained that um, in quite good detail. Our expected um, dividends as well has increased $7 per year. So this is dividends that I would expect to earn if I, I do nothing. And you know, the earnings of these companies continue to grow or continue to stay at the same level this is the dividend i'd expect from one year onwards so we expect 68 dollars that equates to about a 3.6 percent dividend okay so let's talk about sector rotations so the retirement and aged care one in particular because that is very interesting to see this basically shows us um, the retirement villages all the components all the companies that are listed in there and the date range that i use is since our fund inception so we started the fund on the 1st of august and as you can see here the nzx50 which is the orange or the yellow ticker has returned 4.2 percent in the past four months right and our current portfolio is returning about five five to six percent depending on what measure you use let's use our adjusted measure of six and a half percent so we're we're outperforming the nzx50 all the companies within the retirement village industry have outperformed the nzx50 we have oceania which is the worst performer returning slightly more than the nzx50 um, we have Arvida and Ryman, which have returned about 18%. And then we have the top two performers, which are MetLife and Somerset, which have performed, uh, returned about um, 36, 33%. So Somerset is on top with 36, 36%. And um, as you can see here, throughout the entire three months, Somerset has been um, leading the way the majority of the time. MetLife, of course, had the spike here because there was news of a potential um, takeover bid, but directors did say in the earnings announce, uh, in the news release, sorry, that that was a low ball offer. So um, still very early days. But in terms of Somerset, Somerset has done the best. If we compare this to say the utilities, you know, utilities have done really well in the past year. So this is a one year date range and you can see they've all returned superb returns, right? Even the worst performer here, Trust Power, has returned 19.9%. And, you know, if we're looking at a one year return, a 19.9% is still very fantastic. Let's have a look now at just the past four months, right? Since fund inception. So if we change the date here to August, let's just go in here. So 1st of August to, to today's date, Meridian, the top performer has returned negative 2.48%. Genesis returns negative 6%. And the best performer, Mercury, has returned 1%. And NZX50, remember, returned 4.2%, but um, all these others have underperformed that. Going back to the same tune, if we go back one year for these stocks, these retirement village stocks, they haven't been outperforming so well. The worst performer at 20% trust power has still outperformed the majority of um, these stocks here. So what, I'm, what this shows you is that you shouldn't be chasing top performers, right? Because when you have a top performer for a year, they might be an underperformer for the next year. So looking at the price purely um, as a form of your investment thesis, just because it's gone up so much, um, that's not a valid reason for you to buy a stock or not. So you should always base your buying decisions on the fundamentals. So for example, um, you look at earnings growth, you look at current earnings and whether what you're paying now is a fair price for these companies. So I think there's really two reasons why the um, retirement village sector has gone up so much. So the first one was that the market caught on to my deep dive video on Somerset and that's really caused the share price to go up because um, you know on this channel we have a huge influence on the market with 200 subscribers. And so, um, you know, people caught on to that. So if you haven't caught on to that already, be sure to check that video out. Um, at the time of the video, 
the share price was $7.25 and currently the share price is sitting at $7.70. So it actually has gone up significantly since we made the video. Okay, now jokes aside, I think one of the reasons why it's gone up so much as well is because housing prices have um, continued to increase in the month of October. So I have here um, the October Reins report and it basically said that median, median house prices across New Zealand has increased by 8.2% in October to a new record high of 607,000. Going forward, um, it does paint a bit of a rosy picture. And when you have an industry that its earnings depend, depends on housing prices and housing prices show strength, then you expect the share prices of these companies to go up as well. All right. And the second reason why I think that, that the um, industry has gone up recently as well is because of us moving into summer so summer is when property market goes hot usually um, sales volume usually goes up as you know people tend to go out more during summer tend, tend to go out um, looking for you know stuff to buy and one of the things that they find to buy are houses so um, going into summer this usually correlates to stronger sales and in terms of Somerset and all these other retirement villages Q4 or the um, last quarter of the year um, usually is the strongest quarter. So that's why I think the sector is rotating into um, um, positive sentiment and which is why the share prices of these companies have gone up so much. So to sum it all up really don't be chasing sectors that are doing hot because what is hot this month might not be hot next month. And so if you're looking to jump into the retirement village sector, just know that it's already had quite a bit of a ramp up. And so now the downside is um, increased and the upside is lower than what it was before. Just be careful, always do your own research before investing and always um, you know, invest regularly instead of putting all your money in at once. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to start compounding your interest today. Until then, take care.